Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytelling with Miss B. We've been talking about pets this week, so I have a story about a pet for you. It's called Can I Be Your Dog? And it's kind of adorable. The author is Troy Cummings and he's also the illustrator. Alright, let's jump right into this one. Can I be your dog? Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am sincerely Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but we cannot, you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, mm, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the honey wills. Poor Arfie. He does not have a family. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I can keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Writing letters is always a fun way to, to talk to people. Look, pal, I got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let you in, last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking on a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dice giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, nom, nom. Poor thing, he lives in a box. Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's say, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on fire, on file. We will keep your letter on file. No fire. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Can you see how Arfie feels about that letter? <laughs> it's a little obvious. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not going to lie, you're my next to last choice, but these past days have been rough, 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 So please, please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Does that Junkyard Guy look very friendly? Dear Mutt, get lost. Poor, poor Arfie. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a weird funny smell. But I'm not picky. I'm just lonely. Arfie. Poor Arfie, he does not have any friends. That house does not look very friendly either. Arfie, soggy box in the alley. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. Last house on Butternut Street. Oh! That's what Arfie says. That looks pretty lonely. Poor Arfie alone in the rain. There's a note on this box. It says to Arfie. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox.
He looks kind of happy about that news, doesn't he? I wonder if he's going to go meet her. He finally has a friend. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Scratch, 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 scratch. The end. That's all of Butternut Street where they work together now. Sometimes we all feel a little bit lonely and we want to have a pal. Sometimes all we need to do is ask, find something that we have the same. Like both of them knew all about Butternut Street and so that helped them to be able to get along and have a good time together. Anyway, if you ever need a friend, remember what to do. And if you need a pet, that'd be kind of fun too. They're a different kind of a friend, aren't they? All right, have a great day. See you later.